Hello everybody. So I ditched another video that I did because they didn't work out. But I did get close. So I'm going to show you what I'm trying to do. This is an abalone shell that was given to me by my uncle when I was a kid. And I really loved it. And I've cherished it for 50 years. <laughs> so um, I think this is where my love of teal came from. Because you could see all the different glistening teals in there. So I wanted to try to do a recreation of this. So I did four tiles the other night just to get the color scheme going. And the closest that I got was this. But I don't have the gold in there or like that light lime green. So I'm about to add that now. We're getting close. But I think this is just beautiful. We're, we're getting there. It's got the shine to it. So we should be able to achieve that tonight. And I did that on a white pillow. I'll show you what, um, I'll show you two other tiles that I did. So this one was on a black pillow, but that's too dark. Just too dark for what I'm going for, although the colors are pretty. This was another one that had some gold in it, but I do not like the dark um, background for what I'm trying to do because mostly it's lighter. So we're going lighter. We are definitely going with the white background. But I'm going to show we're even going to go a little darker. This is the paint that I've scraped off that was left over. And now you can see all of that is kind of a mixture of a gray almost. So I think this is going to be nice to use as my pillow. And you don't waste the paint. You can use it for something else, which we're going to do now. And I think this will just be a little bit better than that stark white pillow so it won't be so bright but it won't be black either so this is actually the first colored pillow that i'm going to do and i kind of like this and this is just a combination like i said of all the runoff it's you know i mean it's got blues in there it's got black in there, all sorts of runoff in there. So that's what we're going to do. That's the pillow we're going to use. And then we're going to start with our colors. Um, Liquitex Bright Aqua Green Paint. Because you will remember we always have to start, we always want to start with the paint. Now, of course, this is going to be covered up with other things, so it won't be so obvious. I know it looks shocking right now. This is um, Tail Feather Pigment by This Little Piggy. This is going to give it some of the darker sheen that we see in that abalone shell. I hope this one is the charm. Okay. Next one. New pigment here. This is called Lagoon by this little piggy. Of course, you know I had to get this one. Because I love my teals. I am up for every color shade of teal that I can get my hands on. This one is called Key Lime by Primary Elements and this is what's going to give us that beautiful lighter green that we saw in the abalone shell. Hopefully, hopefully some of it pops through. Not too much, but 
I think it will. Okay, we've actually got nine colors here. Folk Art Aqua Metallic Paint. I used this in that other one. Just another teal, but with some metallics in it. Um, sea Glass Pigment by this little piggy. We're going to get all the glisten. Uh, Deco Art Extreme Aquamarine. This will get us some of the blues that we see in the shell. I know you're probably thinking that's all just a bunch of teals and blues. Well, that's what that shell is. So. This is Ore Pigment by this little piggy. This is going to get us some of our gold to go with that key lime. We're not going to go berserk with it. Just to get a little bit of it. Hopefully that comes through. Uh, this is Lakeside Pigment by this little piggy. This gets us our deeper shade. And it's preparing us for the next two, which are interference colors. And remember, our interference colors like to go over something dark they show up better so this one is glisten this is blues and teals that are going to pop up it looks white now but when it's all said and done it will be a blue and teal sheen and this one is velvet interference by this little piggy and I think if I recall, hold on, this is still too thick. I think if I recall, it's a purpley uh, indigo interference. And that's kind of what it looks like, kind of like a lilac. Still a little too thick. Let me just stir this up, and then we'll get it on there. It's almost looking, this looks almost pearly looking. I don't know if you can, if you can see that. It's really pretty. Just a little bit of this. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, I did a bloom before on those. This time, I want to do a swipe because that is more what the abalone shell looks like. And this is, um, oh, maybe I want to use this other one. I want the longest one that's going to. There we go. That's going to cover the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back to the center. Yeah, I decided I don't know why I was blooming. Because really this looks more like a swipe. And I think the swipe is going to look more like the abalone shell. Now I'm just blabbering here while I'm trying to think. So here we go. I have put my cell activator in a cute little squeeze bottle now so that it's easier to get just what I need since I'm going to be doing more swipes because I like them. 
So we're going to take that like that. We're going to spread this out. I'm going to try and keep it away from the tile. Probably don't need this much, but I always do more just to be safe. Now, how are we going to do this? This was dumb. I forgot I was doing a swipe. I should have done a line or something. So let's try this. Okay. Now we got to hope that this spins a lot spins outward a lot Okay, guys, we have the colors in here. The colors are correct, finally. Only thing I don't like is I got more white than I wanted. But we may do a second one. We might. So let's do some tilting. Now here's what you do. You kind of get that to go over the edge and then you come back the other way. You just get the color to go over the edge and grab on there. And then you come back and we're going to tilt this way now. I do like it on this gray better because um, it's not so bright. So I do like the swipe better, but I wish that I had remembered I was going to do a swipe and I would have laid the colors down differently. So we'll get there in, um, in a second video, but at least we have the colors correct. I'm happy for that. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. But what I don't like about the swipe is you get more white. So, maybe we'll try bloom with these colors. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I want it to go that way. So I'm going to move that off center so gravity takes it that way.
Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's going to come over this way. So, let's give it a little bit of help. Give it a little bit of help right here. And give it another spin. So let's exp let's take a look at our shell. Yes, this green, this key lime gave it the green look that it needed. I think the gold is a little bit too thick, so we're gonna I think we might just leave the gold out. So um we're gonna do another one. And we're going to get it right. But we are going to do it as a bloom. I am. This is beautiful. We're going to keep it. But I'm being persnickety today. And I am bound and determined to get that to look like what I want it to look like. So we're going to swipe up some of this right here. And we're just going to lay it over there. This is another trick that I learned. When you're running out of paint at the corner. Alright, that is lovely. I like that. So we're going to pick this up. It's a keeper. It's pretty. We're going to get it out of our way. Grab another tile and do a bloom. With our leftover pitlow from other projects in case you're tuning in late and don't know what I'm doing makes a pretty gray of course it could make other colors depending what we're using I keep a a white cup a whitish a lighter cup and then I keep a dark cup for like the things that have a lot of dark colors and black so you get two different pillows Okay, be a little quicker here putting these down so this video doesn't turn out extremely long. This one's a little thick, it's very thick. Ugh. I think I'm going to change up the order a little bit and put this key lime in a little later so it stays more visible. We're not going to do any gold this time. At least I don't think we are. Oh, and I didn't point out the glisten and the... Uh, velvet interference to you. I will on this one. 
these are the last two colors. Okay, time for our cell activator. Let's bring this back to center. So much easier. I wish I would have done this sooner. All right, I'm going to try and blow it out with my lungs. I just got my hair in paint. Yes, this is gorgeous. Ah. Now, what I did learn tonight is it was time to change my cell activator. Or I should say last night. It didn't work very well. So I knew it was kaput. Done. Over with. Oh, this is gorgeous. So I'm going to show you what I do. I mix it in one of my paint containers and then I poured it in this little bottle and I really only had about this much made. So that's one tablespoon of Australian Floetrol to one teaspoon of um, Amsterdam black paint. And that's all I make up at a time because you can only use this for about I've done about 14 days and then it loses its power, but I don't empty this. I won't empty this. I'll just add more Floetrol in here and more paint and shake it up and I'm good to go. I just keep adding to it. All right. We are not going to tilt. We are just going to spin. It's going to expand. Then it's going to start throwing paint off at me. So what I'm going to do before it starts doing that is, where's my swiper? There it is. I'm just going to take this, drag it off, put it in my cup. This is why you may have noticed from other videos, I now have my little sticks to spin underneath the um, uh, spinner so that it's easier to scrape this off because I saw someone do this and I thought that that's going to get me a lot of paintings by scraping this stuff off. Okay, let's spin some more. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let's get our abalone shell. Take a look. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. We've got that lime green in there. We've got the, the blues and the teals. So I think this is the closest um, as... Compared to that, 
Either way, both of them are nice. So this is our abalone shell project. I really like how it turned out. I'm going to take you down from there and I'm going to show you that interference color because sure I'm going to take you down after I turn the video off. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so I wanted to show you like now remember we have two interferences we have one that throws teals and blues which you can surely see that right there and then we have one that kind of throws um violet uh see there it is over there let's turn this around i don't know if you can see there right there so that's throwing a little bit of violet and uh indigo color it's very pretty so i really like these interference colors so there we have it our abalone shell i think i'm happy with it all right everybody if you enjoyed the video please subscribe please um give me a thumbs up on the video drop any comments in the comment section i'll be happy to answer questions too and um, I will put the colors that I used in the description below. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you.